I'd like to show you a little something. This is the end of the Ice Age. Hey boys and girls, guess what? We're back at Saku. And why? Well, because we saw this technology, but we weren't allowed to film it. Now we are. So Ari and I are going to show you a little something that just makes my heart go pity pat. There's nothing like this I've ever seen before. You're about to see magic that is actually going to work. Are we? Thank you again. <laughs> what can we get? Okay, so let's show the let's show the um, the the audience here, or maybe you could describe a little bit of what we're looking at with this plastic bag, and uh, with with little borders around it. Yeah. So here we have a battery cell that has now no metals anymore inside. Typically, there's copper and aluminum in the cell, the two sides that collect the current. Here, everything is without metals. That saves a lot of weight, it saves a lot of cost, and also using no metals, but polymers, allows us to now make monocells, like you see here, with a seal all around it, and get rid of the tabs. So you can now stack these cells, as we do in a moment. You can stack them just by putting them one onto the other, and this way you save a lot of space in your overall packaging. You can do really a bipolar stacking as we develop that further. So you now have less cost, less weight. It's also easier in the, in the later recycling. So a technology that is only able if you print cells the way Saku has developed the process. It's a printing of all the layers and not like today coating on metal foils. Mm. Well, the reason, <clears throat> one of the other big reasons that I like this is because each one of these cells will be tested individually and then put together. And that way, if I have something that's not correct, I just throw one of these things away and probably I could recycle it. But let's just say I throw it away. Instead of throwing away, because we're gonna be comparing it to a 4680 cell. So up until I saw this, the 4680 was my favorite of all of the different configurations out there and all the different batteries that we looked at. This was my favorite. Unfortunately now, this is. So, or fortunately, because I believe this will cut the scrap down significantly. Well, and I'll, I, I believe, I'm, I'm positive, it's going to increase the quality. Yeah, so it's made, it's made in a completely dry process, right? Yeah. So there's no liquid anymore, no slurry. That allows to reuse material in the process. Whenever there's a lower quality, you can reuse the material. And also additionally, you can test much earlier in the process. You have a full working cell much earlier and that allows also to make the quality control much, much more efficient. Well, I'll tell you what. The first thing we need to do is to dispel some of the um, naysayers that I got uh, when we showed you guys uh, a little while ago. So let's just put this back on here and uh, first thing we're gonna do is test for voltage, right? Yes, exactly. So we have the bottom connected with the copper here, and then we test this side, and you can see it's 3.2 volts. Right? So we already used it a little bit, so it has less voltage, or here, positive 3.2 volts. And that shows this is an actual working cell and has no metal inside. Right? That makes it lighter, more cost efficient, and we can also talk about the safety advantages of this. So now if you, have that cell, you can define, instead of having a metal current collector that conducts current very, very fast, you can now design the conductivity of your current collectors, and that means you can reduce it so that you don't have, in a safety situation, you don't have all the energy of the cell violently discharging, but very, very slowly. So you build in inherent safety into that cell by enabling a efficient, industrial speed manufacturing process, which is enabled by the dry printing, the dry printing that we have developed. So imagine you put this now one on top of the other to create a, a stack in series. So you don't have to have tabs anymore that you weld, you can just put one on top of the other, and then you see the voltage will be double, right? double 3.2 volts. So in the future, you don't have to weld your batteries stacks together, you just take these cells, one mono cell each, stack them together as much as you want, and you immediately get the high voltage 
10 times 10 cells, it's 30.7 volts if you want to stay below 40 volts, but you can also do an 800 volt stack as the minimum unit. So uh, all this stuff sounds wonderful, but what we wanted to do is we wanted to compare um, your process and your cells with a 4680 uh, one on one. So this is what we came up with. So we look at first off the weight, because there is a weight reduction. There's the 4680 at 355 grams, and here's the SACU battery. If we go over here and we look at the watt hours per kilogram, now we're looking at, here's the 4680 at uh, 272, and the SACU battery at 354, and that's watt hours per kilogram. This is a huge number, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big deal. Other advantages are basically the power is the same. So it's, it's staying at uh, uh, 96 watt hours. They have a much safer uh, situation here. So you don't get runaway like you would on other types of battery packs, which means that we could probably have a different casing arrangement for this thing. It's got reduced cost, reduced weight, and then when you see the picture, it's got a, 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 geo, a geometric efficiency of 20%. And again, we're talking about it's bipolar, so there's no tabs. These are things that everybody would thought, everybody was thinking it's impossible. It's amazing how many financial people have told me that it's impossible. And here I am looking at uh, these fabulous results. So if we look at, or if we think about what could this look like, then if you could imagine 200 cells about this size, and we picked um, 50 by 80 by, um, by um, 30 thick, okay? And these come in at about, about um, 0.16 yep. uh, of a millimeter thick, so the 200 will fit inside of 30, um, uh, a 30 centimeter, uh, sorry, millimeter uh, box. By putting them in there like that, we wind up with a more efficient layout. And that more efficient layout is going to give us much more, uh, much more volumetric kind of efficiencies. So we're getting a volumetric advantage and we're getting a gravimetric, a weight advantage. This is magic, and I am so delighted to see this. This is what I was hoping for. I've been hoping for this for years. I am so damned excited, I can't shut up. Anyways, I'm gonna let you talk for a little bit because I can't, uh, I can't stop. Now, you just mentioned the inherent safety, right? So when you, when you now control the conductivity of the current collector layers, you do not just choose metal but you control it in the right way, then you can suddenly avoid the violent runaways. And we've actually done already a nail penetration test. We put five of them together, put a nail through it, and the temperature didn't even rise. Right? Yeah. The voltage went slowly down, did a second penetration, the same again. So we've already proven that this concept works. You can build in the safety now into your cell. In addition to all the other advantages we talked about, less cost, uh, less weight, less materials used, and of course, the process in itself, printing reduces, uh, reduces the weight that typically you find today with the slurry processes. So you talked about uh, punching it with a nail. Um, has this been cycled like a thousand times like the other ones have? It's not that, it's not yet at a cycles, at, at, at 1000 cycles today, but yeah. we're working on it, right? It's the same chemistry and there's no reason why it shouldn't go there. It's, it's about the fine tuning of the cells, but yeah. see the cycle life is typically defined by the chemistry and which reactions happen in the cell, not really by the outside design. So we'll, we are sure we will get there too. Okay, but the other, the, your uh, normal cells, the- Yes, the normal they, cells, yeah. They have already reached more than 1,000 cycles. So we have been developing a lithium metal chemistry at SACU, which we have already certified UN38.3, and that has already surpassed 1,000 cycles while still having 80% uh, energy retention and uh, having all commercial criteria passed. And this is something that we license to manufacturers. Uh, it's a commercially ready 
cell with all the processes that you have to know. And um, also, we also have it with a printed cathode, so we're, we're also setting a world-class standard in the lithium metal chemistry. Excellent. Everything here, oh, and you, wait a minute, there was one thing about cost as well. This is less yeah. money. Yeah, cost reduction. If you assume that the current collectors, the copper and aluminum in the cell cost about 10% of the full bill of materials, this will be reducing the cost, uh, the cost of the full cell by, by about 7%. Because you don't have to buy copper anymore or aluminum, you can buy these polymers, which are much, much cheaper. And then also you've got stamped cans. This will probably wind up with a different configuration of a carrier. It'll be a lot more effective and efficient. Yeah, you don't and because even, they just have to lay against each yeah. other. You don't even have to have a housing anymore, right? Like a typical can has a housing of aluminum that does not contribute to the cell power and energy. It's just a housing. But here, the housing is the active, the active current collector, right? So there is no housing anymore. There's also no prismatic housing, no cylindrical housing, no pouch housing. The outer part of the cell, which is typically a copper or aluminum foil, is the outside surface. So yeah. you, you don't even, you just get, get the outer, outer housing is fully eliminated. And there's nothing left of it. Perfect. Anyways, thank you so much. Thank this you, has been you. great. Um, I'm telling you what, I'm really excited about it. Um, and we're going to put Saku's uh, name and how to get <laughs> how to get a, get a hold of our weed. And this is going to be, like I said, this is the best news that the uh, electric uh, car companies have. Uh, this is what everybody's been dreaming of. It's the holy grail. Thanks for watching. Bye. And thanks again. Thank you. Bye, everybody.